Hey everyone, Phil here with the Finance Explorer. I'm back again to uh, take you through another video here. Uh, today we're going through how to exchange Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is have another brokerage account or have Bitcoin or some sort of cryptocurrency already that you would like to import into another website. Today I'm using Binance. Uh, there are several you can use, but I like Binance. It hasn't crashed yet, um, so if it does, I'll pull this video. But right now, uh, this has been pretty solid for me so far. First thing you want to do is register or log in. Uh, this isn't very difficult. Uh, pretty much par for the course for uh, registering and logging in. So, first thing you want to do is import your uh, holding of Bitcoin or whatever currency it is you have. Um, this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to show you how to actually do this here. In my previous video, I showed you how to send uh, Bitcoin uh, from Coinbase to another address. Um, if you don't know how to do that, watch that video, uh, and we'll kind of pick up right here from that point. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your address. Uh, right here, it's given me this address down here on the bottom. Um, you just use this as your deposit address uh, from your other website, click that, and you'll send it right over. Of note, I should probably say you're going to want to copy and paste that address. Don't ever try to attempt to write that. You'll get it wrong and screw it up and send your money into the ether of the internet, and we don't want that. Now, similarly, um, you would probably be doing this at the end if you made gains or you want to pull your money out. Uh, you would use your withdrawal here. Use your Bitcoin withdrawal address, throw that in there, send the amount that you want to send away, and then just simply submit that. Everything takes, you know, a few minutes to a day or a week, depending on uh, how fast everything's moving and demand. Uh, there's also fees. Fees are all over the place. I know, it's just kind of how it works right now. Under the Exchange tab and under the Basic uh, version of the Exchange tab, you will find this window. Uh, what this allows you to do is several things. Uh, one, you'll be able to pick your uh, coin that you would like to buy. Uh, you will be able to see what it has been doing on a graph trend, and you'll be able to see what the dollar conversions are. So, first thing we'll look at is the green arrow, uh, where I've selected one week uh, for the graph. You can see it's up and then down a little bit. Um, with the red arrow, you can see the U.S. dollar conversion, which is $1.17 right now. And the blue arrow will tell you uh, what currency you're currently looking at. Um, I've selected uh, several here for favorites. I suggest doing this uh, to keep track of anything that you would like. Um, otherwise, it is just a pool of tons of currencies. If you're somewhat new to this, you're going to notice that these tickers are pretty crazy and kind of all over the place. Uh, I like to use this website here, CoinMarketCap. The uh, website is coinmarketcap.com. Uh, here you can see pretty much all the cryptocurrencies, what their market cap is, what their price is, what their volume looks like, circulating uh, supply, and what their change is in the last 24 hours, and a good idea of their graph. It's also fantastic to see um, when you're looking through what the tickers are. So that's pretty much what I use it for. Uh, you can see XRP is Ripple. Um, so it just kind of helps you clarify what you're actually looking at. Okay, so back here, uh, I'm going to take you through, this is a, a day now that I've selected on the graph with the green arrow. I'll show you what the momentum looks like in the last 24 hours. That's uh, useful. Over here, we have the momentum of the last hour. You can see, this looks showing it's down. Okay, we're going to move on to how you buy and sell these things. This works similar to any other brokerage. Uh, you have limit orders and you have market orders and you have stop limits. Uh, pretty much anyone's going to use a limit and market. Uh, the limit order, you can select your amount that you want to buy at the price you want to buy it. Um, and then they'll go through whenever uh, that coin reaches that amount. Uh, just keep in mind you're using uh, the Bitcoin um, conversion. Uh, for your amounts, which can be a little confusing. So just pay attention to your uh, conversions there. For the market orders, uh, you will execute your price immediately at the market price. Uh, so you simply select the amount of the other cryptocurrency that you would like, and then once you hit buy, it will process immediately. Uh, lastly, if you want to sell a holding, 
Uh, simply do the same thing, but sort of in reverse. You select the amount that you want to sell uh, at the price you would like to sell it. Uh, this way you could kind of lock in a percentage gain if you wanted. That would be useful for the limit orders there. Uh, same thing for the market orders. Uh, if you were up a whole bunch and you just wanted to sell it, you could just hit the 100% button there and sell all of it immediately. And finally, whenever you have an order, you'd like to check the status of it. Just select the order tab. You will see open orders and order history. Uh, under open orders, you can see that I use an example order of a price amount at $100 or 100 units. And under order history, I canceled that order and you will see it show up there. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and check us out on social media. Like, subscribe, and uh, check back for more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.